uh, dear students so this is the second part of the uh, regression analysis in machine learning so as we discussed that we have like you know two important variable in the regression analysis and that is called dependent variable and independent variable the dependent variable is on the right hand side of the equation while the dependent variable is on the left side of the equations so <clears throat> So usually we predict the dependent variable with the help of the independent variable along with the uh, along with the some parameters as well as the error so this is like you know the relationship between x and y now here this is very interesting um, uh, equation over here and we have like a dependent variable and uh, here in this one uh, you can see here the first thing which is most important thing which i would like to highlight uh, for you uh, is this one this is this is basically the intercept as I told you the how the intercepts like you know uh, will be occurring so this is the intercept from where it will start right mm -hmm. and this is the coefficient of uh, uh, of the x that how x is progressing right so if this coefficient is is uh, like you know uh, increasing so it will like you know show the uh, the progression in the variable x which is the dependent variable and here also you can add some like you know error so it could be plus minus both mm. so this is like you know a random error it can happen yeah slope as i told you the slope is very much important so b1 is basically the slope and it tells you that how much angle is here so this angle is basically at the slope so if this line is upper okay so uh, the slope would be like you know a difference so you can see the uh, the angle is here angle is small right and here angle is uh, bigger right so and it could be like this one as well so it could be like in a straight line okay so this is the, like you know uh, the maximum uh, the maximum slope right and here if i make it like this one okay so this is like you know slope is again decreasing it and this also so horizontally if i make a horizontal line there is a zero slope right if i make a vertical line is a 90 degrees the highest slope so this is like you know some discussion on the on the geometry uh, of the slopes that how the slopes looks and the error so this ei is error for error means like for example this point is like you know is fitting on the line while this point is not fitting on the line so there is a type of, there is an error right so we call this difference as an error and also we can have like you know this point error. this is also error so here error is minimum less less distance so less error more distance more error we count it yeah and uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah so this is b naught so b naught as i told you this is like the intercept the intercept means like uh, uh, where where it needs to start so this is the point of the intercept um, uh, while like you know on the x-axis we have like you know this is x-axis and xi is the observed value so xi can be like you know any point on this line and y will be the corresponding y point depending on the x value because uh, if you multiply x with something for example if x is 2 and we multiply for example if the value of x is 2 and we multiply b1 as a 3 let's suppose so it would be 6 so x x would be like you know not like you know 2 it would be 6 somewhere here right okay so it basically fluctuates the points over here okay so uh, just going to the next slide okay yeah so this is like you know the same discussion again so it's estimation estimated value or predicted value so sometime why we call as like you know uh, estimated or predicted value of the observation and b naught is a uh, intercept as i told you before that from where the line should start and uh, estimate for the regression slope that how slope it should be it should be horizontal vertical tilt how much it should be and this is the observed value of the i of the x i so i means like i0 i1 i2 i3 so it is i mean is changing it's a variable so at different distances the, the value of x will be changing and then we have least square method as i told as we discussed earlier least square is very imp important for uh, prediction so b naught and b1 are obtained by finding the values that minimize the sum of the square differences so some sometime we are always trying to minimize the sum of the square differences uh, as because to fit the model so between uh, y and y dash so uh, like you know y dash is like you know the predicted value so the minimum you know, the sum of the uh, sum of the square of the 
uh, of the difference of the values uh, of the, that is the minimum values we are always trying for that one uh, and how we get it so it is basically equal to the minimum uh, y i minus b naught plus b one x y so according to this formula we can easily find it so b naught is basically the estimated mean value of the y and the value of x is zero uh, b1 is the estimated change in the mean value of y as, as a result of the non uh, one unit increase in x so um, assumption of regression line uh, linearity relationship between x and y is linear there is no square or there is no cube on that one independent uh, independence of errors like you know error values are statistically independent uh, they, they are not like you know directly related to the x and y uh, particularly important when data are collected over the period of time so error occurs it's like normal entropy uh, normality of the error error values are normally distributed for a given value of x so basically there is like you know lower and um, uh, higher value or minimum or maximum value for that one equal variance also called like a uh, homo uh, like you know the probability distribution of error has a constant variance yeah so this is like you know there are some concepts so we need to know about it. Yeah. So here, like you know, some more formulas for R square, which is equal to SSR divided by SSR plus SSE. So what is SSE? Uh, yeah, maybe in um, uh, there is a course which is called like you know research operation. In that one, we have learned about like some of the square error, some of the square total, some of the square regression. So these values can be like you know beneficial in finding out the further calculations which is important for uh, elaborating our results in research or in other kind of uh, uh, assignment we have it uh, the standard error for regression slope coefficient is represented so this is another formula over here and uh, we can easily find um, uh, the value of sb1 here yeah so there is some discussion on that one that the smaller the standard error the lower the variability around the coefficient estimate for the regression slope right so it means that uh, like you know if this value is uh, standard error is smaller so it means uh, the variability uh, will be lower around the estimate of the regression slope. so because we are not like you know uh, going for more variability limitation as well as we know that uh, if that r square is limited so then we go for some other tests like p test and t test yeah so there are different kinds of tests available mm, r square can be ar arbitrarily close to one when the model is totally wrong yeah so when it is one so it means your model is wrong you need to repeat your experiment uh, another function might better describe the trend in the in the data yeah the coefficient of determination r square and the correlation coefficient r can both be greatly affected by just one data point or few data points are here uh, and the second thing is correlation or association does not imply a causation sometime uh, because we need to see the cause and effect okay so some word who is causing and which variable is being affected so sometime correlation is not like you know giving us causation yeah so then we need two other tools for that one yes t test so t test is here so how to do uh, so in the t test we uh, we suppose something we we call it like you know hypothesis and some hypotheses are called like null and alternative hypothesis mostly people they are not now it is they are using the null hypothesis but they are going for the normal one but still you should learn that what is the null hypothesis uh, non linear relationship and uh, h h1 is the linear relationship does not exist right okay so t test for the population slope is there a linear relationship between x and y so there's a question okay so the first uh, hypothesis the non-linear relationship second that that uh, linear relationship does not exist right okay so this is like you know hypothesis for us and uh, and this is like you know how this formula is given over here uh, we have very good functions uh, ANOVA uh, in, uh, in in Excel and it can give you the all the values, p-values, t-values and so it, it makes our work a bit easier in that one and also we have some like you know coding for in Python as well for that so you can use it and it's very handy yeah uh, tail function yeah so here is like you know these tails the, the the blue lines it tells you that uh, it's a rejection area like so the values are here so it there is a high chances to reject the hypothesis right so um, there is like for example um, uh, there's a sufficient evidence that square footage affects the house price okay and uh, uh, these house price like you know so here sometime you need to uh, according to this one 
according to the values we need to accept or reject the values and also so the p-values here so there is a sufficient evidence that the square footage affects house price okay so p-value is this one so there is a range for the these, by these values so if it is like you know meeting this range then you have to accept the hypothesis otherwise you need to re reject the hypothesis some uh, yeah we have another uh, test which is called f test uh, or which is called the test for the significance whether the the values are significantly important or not important for us uh, and then we have like you know according to this one uh, f stat is equal to msr divided by msc so these all are like you know based on the errors here yeah i know like it's very handy and it can give you a lot of values over here f values and uh, uh, so by this value you can feel, you can see that p value for the f test uh, so it whether it's significant or not significant uh, so uh, according to this one it has like you know uh, one tail and according to this one according to the one tail um, if the value is in, within the tail then you have to reject uh, otherwise you don't need to reject it right yeah, if, uh, at 95 level of the confidence the confidence interval for the slope is this one so these are the like some threshold values since the units of the house like for the example of the house uh, unit of house variable is 1000 and we are 95 percent confident that the average impact on the sales price is between 33 dollars and 185 per square foot of the house size this 95 percent confidence interval does not include include zero including there is a significant relationship between the house price we are and the square feet at this one of this one so we have some like you know conclusion from here software provides the quantified necessary to use the confidence interval okay so this is like you know from software you can easily predict it yeah so again back to the t-test yeah so here is like you know formulas given for t-test and uh, if you apply this test uh, t-test so it tells us whether is there any evidence of linear relationship between the square feet and house price at 0 0.5 level of significance so uh, uh if it is there then if it is the values is for example here is 3.32 and it seems that the values is like you know in the rejection way so there is evidence of the linear situation at five percent level of the significance so we need to reject h naught yeah summary so in this chapter what we discussed uh, we discussed about that how to use um, regression analysis to predict the values of dependent and dependent variable and we also learned about the understand the meaning of regression coefficient b naught like intercept and slope b1 and evaluate the assumption of regression analysis uh, like what to do if there is like you know assumptions are violated and the second thing third uh, fourth thing is to make inference about slope and correlation coefficient and to estimate mean value and predict the individual values right so this is like you know all um, discussion about the, like linear regression and it's very easy it's very handy to have the regression in the uh, uh, in uh, in excel as well so the, here i have uh, given some python codes for you that you can test this one like uh, and you can check that how like you know works yeah so ols is one of the um, uh, the function you can use it uh, ordinarily square function and you can see that ols is used over here uh, in this one and here is the result on the on the on the right hand side so ols is a function where you put like your dependent and independent variable y and x and you and you make a function of the fit function with it and then it tells you that whether the model is fitting the or, or yes or no and it gives you some more detailed values so here is like you know the explanation for uh, all this one so you can read it and you can see that what is like you know um, f statistics and we already discussed it uh, like uh, we also have like uh, BIC might be some new for you Bayesian information criteria okay AIC is like you know AKK information criteria um, log like uh, likelihood like you know function of the model which measure the goodness of fit yeah this is very important as well cough the column shows the estimated regression coefficient for each independent variable in the model right and like a lot of like you know other values you will see here so this is the end of the uh, regression analysis and i hope that you have like got the uh, good understanding of the regression analysis if there are any questions you can put in the comment and i would be glad to answer your comments thank you